Hello my fellow investors and welcome to a brand new video slash series. Hopefully it is a series. I had one of my friends do a video on the Greeks when it comes to options. He is pretty good when it comes to technical analysis and also knows his way around the Greeks more than I do. I only know of like two. So I had him do a video explaining the Greeks that matter when it comes to buying calls and buying puts. So the video that you're going to see guys is mainly geared towards if you're buying a call and if you're buying a put. Not if you're selling a call or selling a put. So just keep that in mind. Also, this is the first time that he's doing these kinds of videos. So please bear with him. He will get better eventually as he makes more and more videos. So just keep that in mind as you go along regardless the information that he does give in the video is still pretty good in my personal opinion so with that said let's get started with this video hello everybody so my name is michael uh, i've been on the channel a couple of times through doing some technical analysis videos uh, if you watch some of our uh, chat videos uh, my buddy and me uh, bantering about technical analysis is superior than fundamental analysis just gotta put that in there for him so we're gonna talk today about option contracts he's been bugging me about making this video for over two months now so I kind of caved into the pressure and I think it's something you guys all would enjoy so if you're unfamiliar what options are option contracts how they work this is gonna give you a brief overview of how it all works so we're going to go over the Greeks. Um, I'm not going to go over every single little detail about options. We're going to go very basic with this. So you have to know option contracts are an insurance contract for stocks. So when you trade options, you're mainly looking at buying and selling the contract and gaining value from it. Uh, you can use it actually to buy stocks at a certain price, but the main purpose of buying and selling options is to make money. Uh, as Warren Buffett would say, rule number one, uh, don't lose money, rule number two, refer, refer to rule number one. So options are a way to make money, but also have risk them and never ever trade anything unless you understand how it works. Otherwise it's gambling, it's not educated guessing. So there are five Greeks that control options and how they work. So we're gonna talk about each of them. So we're gonna get the boring ones out of the way first. Rho. Rho is probably the least talked about Greek because it is the one to do with interest rates. So. If interest rates go up, your option contract goes up a certain amount that row represents, or if interest rates go down, then your option contract goes down with that. Uh, it's pretty simple as that, uh, self-explanatory, and it is probably the most boring Greek out there because no one ever pays attention to it. So, okay, now we got that out of the way. Next, we're gonna talk about Vega. So, Vega is the option Greek for implied volatility. Uh, you will hear IV thrown around a lot in the industry. So IV. Option volatility is like it sounds, the increase of an option contract due to an increase of the volatility in the stock. This is mainly around earnings time. So, you know, stocks trading like this, that earnings come in has a gigantic move to the upside or a gigantic move to the downside. So this gigantic move is a jig it, it causes a lot of volatility so in doing so all puts and calls which are the two sides of the options cause the underlying contract to go up or down so vega you have to know if you're trading options uh, mainly it applies when selling options is that you want to be aware if there's been a gigantic uh, iv spike in the underlying so the problem people face when they trade options is that during you'll have the big IV spike and then you'll have a crush right after. And this will be the earnings event. Let's say that's earnings. So a lot of people what they'll do is they'll buy an option contract here and then sell the option contract here. So they took a loss because of that difference. So it's something to be aware of. IV gets into well, mainly when you're playing around earnings, uh, you have to be aware of it. Uh, my advice is, and how I do it, don't play earnings. You're playing gambling, you're buying the call side or the put side of the options, uh, you're gambling because this sucker is going to roast every one of your contracts after earnings. 
even if, and also if you guess wrong, you are completely screwed because you've had a 7% move probably in the company and one side is going to get obliterated. So uh, I just realized that we haven't talked about the two sides of the options. So if you're a bull and think the company's gonna go up, you're on the call side, puts are bearish. So basic split, calls are bear bullish, puts are bearish. All right, next up is gamma. So gamma, similar to bro, is one of those options that you really don't pay attention to. It is the option that changes delta, the next option we're gonna talk about, for every dollar the stock moves, uh, delta will increase or decrease by this value. You can't really, there's no strategy, so I kind of go into it. There's a couple that um, play around gamma and gamma decay, but for Bayer basics, it is similar to how interest rates affect option contracts, gamma affects delta, which is just how much delta is gonna change by for every dollar it moves. As you get closer to expiration, you're gonna have gamma change to be larger. So therefore you're gonna have a larger delta move and also vice versa as you get further away from the money or closer away into the money, gamma will affect delta in positive and negative ways. The next, let's talk about delta, the one that everyone cares about. So delta is the directional option. So uh, depending on which side of the trade you're on, if you're on the call side, you're gonna have a positive delta. If you're on the put side, you're gonna have a negative delta. All it means is that for every dollar the company moves, uh, so let's say Apple's at 128. All right, I'm gonna use Apple as an example. And if you own a call and Apple goes to 130, congratulations, you had a $2 move. So you take that two times Delta and that's how much your option contract went up. So same way with the puts. 128 uh, current stock price, goes down $2, congratulations, your option contract just went up uh, that amount. It also, if it works the opposite way around, if you want to put, goes to 130, you lost $2, so therefore two times delta, that's what you lose. Delta changes with time, also as the option goes to closer to expiration. Uh, you will hear that term thrown around. So think of it as, here's your expiration date, here's time, so all Greeks, as you move towards expiration, uh, start going up exponentially. That will include theta, the next one that we're gonna talk about. So if you're buying options, uh, theta is your worst enemy in the universe. Theta is the option for how much money you're gonna lose every single day for holding that option contract. Usually theta is about, if you're far out of expiration, you're talking maybe like 50 cents, you're talking maybe a dollar. Uh, it's a very low value. When you get to that point where you're one week before expiration, theta busts through and it goes exponential. So every day you're losing more and more and more. So every day uh, your contract has to either already be in the money to counteract this, or you have to really, really, move. you, you, you got to have a significant delta move one way or another, depending on uh, if you're call or put side, to counteract that. Most of the time, you don't get that directional move to counteract theta. So theta is time decay. It is the amount of money you're going to lose every single day as time goes. Delta is the option that counteracts theta. So basically um, option values are a constant fight between delta and theta. It's basically a fight between these two of does your option contract go up or does your option contract go down? And these are the two main things we gotta pay attention to. So. I hope this gave you a good understanding of what the Greeks are and how they affect option contracts. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or things we didn't cover well enough, let me know in the comment section below if you guys don't mind. Like the video if you like this. Uh, if you want to see more, about, tell us if we want if we want to do this in the future. If this is something that you guys want to see more of, uh, put it in the comment section uh, below and we'll surely do more videos like this. And if you guys want us to cover a specific part about options, uh, let us know as well. But 
overall, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, throw a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. So hopefully everybody enjoyed that video. And again, guys, please remember that this is not financial advice in any way, like in every single video that we make. So if you guys would like to invest in something, if you guys would like to buy a call, buy a put, sell a call, sell a put, please make sure to do your own due diligence because every investment is the present value of all future cash flow. Like I always say, and again, this is not financial advice. So that pretty much it for this one. Like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help her with the algorithm on YouTube. You guys can follow me on my YouTube sites. A link in the description below. So with that said, peace out. Now we'll see you all in the next video.